welcome to another episode of Pfeiffer with Binger. And I've got the great and very talented Mark Edward War Jr. Welcome, mate. Thanks, Ben. Good to be on your show, mate. Now, um, arguably one of the best techniques ever in world cricket. Who inspired you growing up? Um, well, I think Viv Richards and Dougie Walls and Greg Chappell are the three guys that um, I wanted to play like. I was lucky enough to play against Viv, actually, in, in a test match. But um, the Aussies would be Dougie and Greg. I mean, I love the way Greg Chappell played. Mm. Obviously, he flicked off the pads quite nicely. I love Dougie because he liked to bet, which I like to bet. <laughs> so a bit of a combination of all those guys. Is it true in the backyard that you sort of favoured the league side because of backyard? Well, you know, backyard cricket, there's always one side where there's either a fence or windows yeah. or pot plants or a car or something. So, yeah, on the onside, it was a shorter boundary, actually. It was just a little clip off the, off the pad. So, yeah, that's why it's so good. Yeah, yeah. No. well, mind you, it's pretty hard to get a bat. It's hard to get Stephen out. Even if you nicked one, he... Well, you mentioned your brother. Walk. Sibling rivalry. Now, three brothers at all fantastic careers. We obviously know yeah. most about Steve. Now, was it awkward or fun batting out in the middle for a test match with your brother? Um, a little bit awkward, I suppose. <laughs> I mean... It, because you're twin brothers, um, everyone sort of compare, compares you with each other, the way you play and the, the amount of runs you get and all those sorts of things. So I suppose there's natural rivalry with your brother. You want to yeah. outdo them, don't you? Whether it's at school or in the backyard or whatever. Um, so subconsciously, you're always trying to maybe be better than, than, than your brother. But um, I think we work pretty well together. There was one season where Stephen actually run me out about seven times. <laughs> Sledge him. <laughs> Just shaking me. I got him back a couple of times. Though. I got him, got him back in the test match in, in Perth. No, I'm only joking. When I was running for Craig McDermott. I, should, I checked it out. When I was running for Craig McDermott and I got run That's out. That's right. And Stephen was 90, 99 not out. So, yeah, got him cost back. Him. Yeah, cost him. Beautifully. Cost him a test ton. If you could, in terms of sport, if you could do anything differently or change anything in your career, would you do anything or would you just be pretty content with what you did? Uh, on the cricket field? Um, yeah. I think... Probably bowl extra 10 yards quicker, like yourself. I used to bowl the bowl Young. Bowl the bouncer, did I? That's why you hurt your back. Yeah, I did. Um, no, I'd say the only thing I'd like to do better was when I was making a lot of runs, like making hundreds, make big hundreds. Like, I'd, I'd tend to get to 120 and just, if I felt the team was in a, a good position, I'd, I'd just get out mm. instead of going on to get 180 or 200 or something. So, if I, if I played again, that's where I'd cash in and score bigger hundreds if I was making a hundred. Okay. Mm. Good advice. Good advice. Uh, now, a lot of guys that you grew up with have always said that you were, if not a better soccer player than cricketer growing up. Could you have chosen mm. potentially soccer over cricket? You know what it's like being when, you, when you're young, you play all sports. Mm. Uh, um, played soccer to a good level. Obviously state, you know, school boys, a bit of tennis as well. Uh, played a bit of professional soccer with Sydney, Croatia, right. uh, myself and Stephen, when we were about 17, and then the season started to overlap, so we had to make a decision whether it was going to be cricket or soccer. So, Robbie Slater is a good friend of ours, um, played a lot of soccer with him in the juniors, and I think I'd say me and Stephen were better players than Robbie, and then he played for Australia and played right. in England, whatever. So, if you sort of line that up, you think, well, yeah, I could have, could have played in national soccer or played overseas, but, you know, I'm pretty happy with what I've achieved in cricket, so it should be. All right, best captain you've ever played under? Best captain I've played under? Yeah, it's state tough, level. Tough, tough question. Well, obviously, AB, Stephen, and Tubby Taylor, so all different sorts of captains. Mm. Um, AB was a little bit more conservative, um, a bit grumpier, maybe. <laughs> Has he changed now? Yeah, he's changed, he's a good fella. Uh, Tubby was, yeah, enjoyed playing with Tubby, good tactician, uh, well respected, and, and Stephen, you know, great competitor, so I'd say all three were very good to play under. Awesome. Well, there we go. Fife with Binger. Make sure that you subscribe, and uh, we'll get some more episodes coming up shortly. Thanks, Jude. No problem. Thank you.